Alright, scientists say Blood Falls is the name of a salt water source that pours out of a glacier in Antarctica. <clears throat> the water is so saturated with iron oxides that the ice cascades appear to be gushing blood. They are gushing blood. What is in here is a, is a creature that is now being liberated and unthawing. The black part under here, I believe, is the venous blood, which is the black oxidated blood. The red is the FeO3 blood, which is the oxygenated blood. And this creature, when it died, was frozen instead of turned into a mud fossil. This is something that should be investigated. All the other ones that I have found have... The, the blood has actually crystallized, you know, obviously it turns into rock and mineralizes after a long period of time being exposed to oxygen and so forth. This was frozen and I can see, well, I, I'm not positive, but I believe this black is the vein blood and right on top of it is the arterial blood supply that is leaking out as it's literally decomposing inside the body and forcing those fluids out. I talk about manifest destiny. I just got this from uh, Michael Davino, uh, following my work and contributing fabulously. And he sent me this about uh, this river in uh, Russia that has begun to bleed you know, as you can see, <laughs> now, the people there are all upset. That is literally blood. I guarantee if someone went there and did tests on that, they will find that there's hemoglobin and there's DNA, and they become liberated as the Arctic thaws. And this is what's happening in the other one that I just showed. Now, listen to this. Posting photos to social media and asking the question, what is turning the river here, this mysterious blood red? Now, this is the Daldekan River near the city of Norilsk. And as you can see, it has turned a vivid bur burgundy type red, reddish color. All right, that's an, I, you don't need to go any further. It just started to show up one day of this blood. Now, uh, they think it's from toxic waste and the government is polluting them and all this, but that is not the case. I, I can absolutely in every molecule of my body guarantee you that this is blood and the the giant creatures that are literally make up the earth are now exposed and the chemistry's done i have uh, giant human beings that are dna tested uh, mine are only a couple of hundred feet tall but they're they're evidence of them everywhere in the world they're gigantic literally up to miles tall and this is exactly what was written in history. Every detail that was written in history appears to be what is observed when you really look at what is observed. And that's what I'm doing. Now, if somebody uh, would like to, to do this, I'd love to have somebody look at and, and test this stuff. I've done the DNA tests and CAT scans and all that on my stuff, and it's called Mud Fossils, A New Science. Uh, on um, a Facebook group and um, I, I, it's a page where I pretty much just display things that are found and then I also have one that's Mud Fossils Revelations which is literally about the ancient texts all of them not just the Bible but the uh, Titans and all of that stuff and the Bible even admitted they were already here in the ground before the Bible started it says the giants were here in the ground or in the earth and then later, some more giants came after the Bible started. So they, they admitted, literally, that the giants were in the ground, and they are. And I have a video for that, and I'll show you, that, and I'll show you the, the beginning to it, and you can see they are. All right, this is my YouTube um, channel, and I also have a .com, mudfossils.com. Now, there's all kinds of videos here, uh, geodes and feldspar, limestone, how all this stuff is... is um, found and what how it occurred but this is the giants in the earth and right, there's, sorry there's no such thing as no giants in the earth there is absolutely giants in the earth and they're all over the earth so someone needs to go and look and start looking at this now i just shown this as my background in chemistry and so forth so i i know what i'm talking about as far as how bonding and, and molecules go and everything but when you get down to looking at the anatomy and I've studied all of this stuff in great detail and this is tendinous material and when you look at some of these um, 
tendon structures and then you look at the structures on the earth look at this structure right here and now look at some of the structures on the earth and you'll see why I say they're bleeding you see that that's the same identical structure as what I just showed you a minute ago back here you see that it's the that's this stuff here and the bloody investments and the white stuff is limestone calcium literally calcium CaCO3 and here is the bloody investments and here is the limestone it's in your body and everybody's body creatures are made of this and the earth is made of it as well sorry to expose this to you but that's a fact and it was written long 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 ago I didn't make this up that's just the way history is and not and it was always laughed at and all their myths and their silly stories and just made to scare kids <laughs> no we gotta revisit stuff